Okay, so um, I worked on, and, and I'll do um, Pretty Little Hong Kong yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then I am going to um, switch over to Giant Harry Potter because I have not worked on that since before Christmas, um, other than maybe uh, like three or four stitches. That needs to be done. That will need to be done before Ryan goes off to college. So that will need to be done by the um, end of July, beginning of August, somewhere in that time frame so that I'll have time to get it framed. Um, so I'm actually going to make that. That will come up in rotation a couple times during the month. Um, maybe not in February just because February is such a short month. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying a new spot and I see there's a glare and I'm... Anyway, I'm sitting on a stool. I gotta figure out a better way to do this. Um, so that'll be that's gonna be the next thing after Pretty Little Hong Kong, and then I'm going to work on Happily Ever After. And we did get yesterday, the, or yesterday, or the day before the new um, the February came, and it's Heidi. So so super super cute. Then um, I'm gonna I'll spend three days working on the shores of Hawk Run Hollow. Um, and again, make that a focus. That stitch along really starts this Saturday, February 4th, and I have almost the first block finished, so I'm, I'm quite a ways on that, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, and then I decided that on the 13th of the month I would do, I think I've heard it referred to as dark October stitching, but on the 13th of the month I would do a Halloween project, because I have several Halloween projects that I didn't finish last year that I'd like to finish and for the month of February I'm going to try to finish up um, the Lizzie Kate mystery um, sal that was for this year so it was a three part sal and I think I have parts one two one is done two is almost done and three is just begun I think so I probably won't get it finished on the 13th of February but what day of the month is that it's a Monday. Mondays are good stitching days for me, so maybe I will. Um, and then, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Fairy Moon, which I showed you last month. That's Mirabilia. Okay, I that one's been bugging me, and I, I've I've only done like maybe two little blocks, maybe maybe 200 stitches in that, and that's the one that I had started with Sullivan's, and I said. Yeah, I'll just finish it with Sullivan's. That's it'll be fine. I'd never used Sullivan's before, and it's great. It's fine. It's wonderful. And I was trying to figure out why I wasn't wanting to pick that back up. I it's the Sullivan's. I can't. I cannot. I can't stitch with that. I don't like it. I don't like it. And that's way too beautiful of a piece and pretty of a project to not to not do something I like with it. So I am gonna go back to Hobby Lobby. Probably not until this weekend and buy all the DMC for it because I don't like I don't like that so that then that comes that's like we're now in mid February so I'm gonna I'll work on fairy moon for three or four days or for three days and then I'm gonna spend I, I want to spend at least three days a month working on a Christmas ornament I have so many Christmas ornaments that I'm that I've either started or I want to do and so every month I'm, I'm going to try to do at least one Christmas ornament. And this month, I think I want to do the one that I had made, um, I showed you last month with the two houses and Santa flying over it and the Santa and the sleigh was done in one over one on like 32 count or 40 count. And so, um, I, and I made that for my friend Janice who owns the rug cooking store, but I want to do that one for me. And then I have another one that I want to do for Colleen, who um, is the, the person that I've did these for. Um, and she loves, she, she really loves sheep. I should probably give her my, that sheep needle minder. But anyway, she really loves sheep. So there's one in that same magazine, which was, I think, this year's Christmas ornament cross stitch magazine. Um, there's one of like five little sheep on it waiting and it says waiting for Santa it's super cute so I'm, I think that's what I'll work on either one of those okay something I've never talked about is um, when I got into floss tube and started hearing everybody talk about Hades I thought well I have to go see what this Hades stuff is all about and so I did I went to the website and uh, 
There's pretty stuff, pretty stuff. So I got a, I think this might have been a free chart. It was either free or it was on sale. I don't remember. And I love it. I love, I love, I'm, uh, I love old fashioned stuff and kind of older, like 20s and 30s styles. And this is called um, Stitcher's Retreat. It's a chart by Michelle Sayeta. Artwork by Delphine and Yol Haras. I don't, I'm probably butchering that. So it's not super huge. It has only 87 colors and it is um, 625 by 740. Nine. So I started it and I work on it hardly ever. I've never done anything like this before. I actually started it on one kind of fabric and that wasn't working out and I switched I went to our LNS and um, Julie helped me pick out some fabric. So this is 25 count I forget what it is. I think it's even weave maybe. I bet it is even weave. It looks like even weave. And I'm stitching this one over one, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, two over one tent. Two over one tent. I tried it the first time, one over one full crosses, and I didn't like that. So I'd watched like the Carolyn Mazio tutorial and somebody else's, maybe like Brian, um, Brian's tutorial. Now I can't think of his channel name, but anyway, so here's the picture. Um, I think it's so lovely. So it's just a couple of ladies stitching by a very uh, stitching by like next to no light. I love that because I have seven thousand lights on when I'm stitching, and I wear these glasses and another pair of glasses. Anyway, I was watching Trisha yesterday. Trisha at Three L Threads. And she talked about, she wore her glasses yesterday, and she's like, I'm so sorry, I know there's going to be a glare. I have tried not wearing my glasses during video. I am so blind. It drives me crazy that I can't see well enough to see if there's a glare or see how things are looking. So I have to wear my glasses. I, I don't know. I, I do wear contacts occasionally, but not very often. Um, anyway, the, here's the beginnings to Stitcher's Retreat. Part, first time parking, first time doing anything of like this. And I'm already amazed. I just started in the upper left hand corner and I can't believe how well like the shading works and you can see just see it coming to life. This is it's cool. This is gonna take me 150,000 years to do, but oh well, I don't care. Anyway, um, middle of the month that'll be a three day spell spell on that, um, which I've never spent that much time on it, so I'm curious to see how much I can get done in three days. Then um, my Sunday long stitch, so that'll be the last Sunday in February, and that'll be the quilts. Um, and then I will just, the last three days of the month, I will just, yeah, wing it. I'll see what I feel like working on, but it has to be something big. So it'll either be Happily Ever After, Hawk Run Hollow or Giant Harry Potter. And what do you want to bet it's not going to be Giant Harry Potter? I I have lost my love of that, and I, that's too bad. I have to stitch that now. I showed Ryan. He loves it. He loves it. And every time he comes home and sees me stitching, he's like, are you working on my Harry Potter? So I have to get that done. But it's just, I don't know why. It should be like every little person or banner is a finish, but... I don't know. I love the fabric. That I that's hand by hand dyed by Stephanie. First piece I've ever gotten of that fabric and it's it's lovely. But um okay, so that's kind of it. One more quick thing to show you, right? Yeah, looking at my notes. Um Colleen, I said I don't get I don't charge for my finishing and I don't and Colleen doesn't actually pay me because she knows I would not accept payment. But um, I had done just maybe two things for her and she gave me a $50 gift certificate to Reflections, which is our LNS. And I went in to spend it the very next day and spent $350. So, you know, 50, 300, whatever. I have a serious problem. And then, um, and then, this last time she brought everything and she always brings her stuff is always she is a meticulous stitcher I mean her stitching is oh it's pretty and she always brings everything perfectly ironed 
um, perfectly laid out on the wool that she wants me to back it with. Um, do whatever you want. Here's the wool, blah, blah, blah. And so this time she brought last Friday the Love Never Fails and the Valentine one. And then there was a third one in there. And she said, and that, I'm such a weenie. I'm going to cry. She goes, and that one's for you. And she did sister stitchers for me or sister stitcher. And so I finished that. And she said, that's for you to keep. And um, so this is this is what it looks like. And oh, she did fine, lovely work. And then I have a quilt that I was working on um, with Asian fabrics. And I lost my love of it and it's not getting done. But I have all these blocks. I think these are courthouse step blocks done. And I thought, oh, that could look really cute with that. So I added that to it. But I had to add the whole block because I wasn't going to cut the block down. And I, it's too big for it, but it's it's okay. It works. It works. And then I added that little guy too. Um, I thought that was so sweet. So I've been seeing all the stuff with the dough bowls, and I would love a dough bowl. But then I got to thinking, oh, I have kind of something that would work. And I bought this last year at a market, like a kind of a flea market kind of thing. And I don't know if it's old. It's probably not even old. But I, And I think my girlfriend repainted it. She was the one selling it. Um, so it's just a little bowl that I, ke I can't really see that, can you? It's got a little base and it's a little bowl. But this fits really well in there. And I do, um, similar to Sylvia, I use that with um, my monthly little pillows or cross-stitch little pin keeps or whatever you want to call them and put those in there. But I had never put anything else in there like greenery or... Like she had baubles in there. What a great idea. So that was a wonderful idea, and I'll adopt that for this month. This weekend we'll get Valentine's boxes out and decorate for Valentine's Day, um, get rid of the snow and the snowman, and, um, yeah, so that'll be good. I'm ready for spring. I'm done with the cold, tired of the heat, tired of the dry. It's so dry here. Ugh. Um, anyway. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Kids are just super busy. We don't have any answers with Ryan. We'll be leaving, and he and I will be leaving two weeks from today to fly to Chicago for his audition, and then um, there, and then leaving Friday night to fly to, to D.C. for his audition at George Mason. Um, he's the lead in the musical. They're doing Oklahoma this year, so he's curly, and... Um, He's, so he's gone all the time with that. Maddie's busy with basketball and indoor soccer and school. And she has recently, she's always wanted to be a vet. And she has recently decided that she thinks she might want to be a nurse, a NICU nurse. So she's been looking into that. And I like that idea. And she, But she still wants to go to school far away. She wants to go to school in California. So we'll see about that. They're great nursing schools here, right here in Nebraska. Um, but anyway, um, anyway, that's, that's about it. Um, I hope everybody's staying warm and if you're in a cold climate, staying warm and, um, comfy and getting lots of stitching done and just enjoying life. Um, I also don't want to get political, but not happy with the current state of our political system it just makes me sad there's just a lot of stuff that's going on that's not right and a lot of people a lot of people are not are suffering I think as a result of it and so f stitching is a great outlet and I'm trying to kind of stay away from all the other stuff um, on especially on social media because it's just it's just hard. It's hard to constantly hear about the awfulness and people just people just being mean and unkind and rude and calling names and treating each other poorly. There's no excuse for that. We know better than that. Anyway, that's all. I love you guys. Um, hope you're all having a lovely day and see you next week. Bye.